grab for a quick public land hunt. Um, this is a piece I've been to this piece before. Um, and I've seen birds. Um, saw a few toms in this area probably oh, 10 days ago or something like that. So I'm gonna hike back there. The, the unfortunate and good part is that these roads are really crappy here. So I'm gonna be making a decent trek back there because it's minimum maintenance road and it's washed out basically. So gonna try to get back into this field. There's some ag and some timber. And I always see birds moving back from the private to onto the public, onto the from the public onto the private. So I'm just gonna probably sit there for most of the morning hours and then maybe figure something else out. I did check up one more public piece before this and I saw hens on it, so that might not be a, a bad spot either to check out. So. I do whenever I'm parked somewhere kind of sketchy. Well, basically wherever I park, I leave a note. You can see that. Just leave a note because I'm technically parked along, along the road, but along private property. So I don't want somebody to think that I'm trespassing or not know where I am. So I just leave a note that I'm hunting the public, give my contact information, stuff like that. So just uh, maybe eliminate some, some conflict perhaps. Ooh, this is so slick. Gotta pat myself on the back for that one, mature move. I've screwed, I've screwed up so many times going down roads I shouldn't, and this is absolutely wrecked. Just soupy. I am maturing. Little by little, I am maturing. One thing for certain, I'm not gonna be running into anybody else back here. Besides hopefully some turkeys. A lot of folks won't go through this for a turkey, but God, I'm a freaking turkey hunting addict. It's just too good. It's May 3rd. I mean, this is like the peak of the season. It only gets worse from here. Well, not really. The next week's really good, but I'm just like a month from now, I'm not gonna be able to hunt nothing. I gotta get out. My boots have collected some mud. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the surrounding area Pretty sure we got like two inches of rain yesterday. Yeah, yeah it rained the entire day yesterday. So that's also why I'm out here because I think the turkey's gonna be fired up after being rained on all day yesterday. in here like a half mile super super muddy road and this is the public piece right here that I wanted to hunt gonna throw my mask on load up a couple shells just kind of get prepared because I've seen birds throughout here 
kind of glasses area up too. which I only really want to have be loaded at the moment of truth, but I had a gobbler at 10 yards and I hadn't cocked one in yet. So I'm just gonna be loaded. elevation will be but I got no cover around me so I think I'll probably get into the timber a little bit before I do a call.
stronger and a bunch of hands exactly where I thought they were going to be on public. I got us. He didn't hate it, but I don't know. If, I mean, he's still strutting out there with a bunch of hands, so I'm gonna have to really try to change his mind. They are on public, but the timber behind them is private, and then there's out in this ag field, so there's no way to get into gun range to him. But I think this is kind of my best spot, because it's the highest spot that's close to him. They're probably at maybe 200 yards. So they're not that far, but I think I'm just going to try to keep eyes on them from here and see what they do with some of my calls.
Holy crap. First public bird, I think, for me in Nebraska. Holy cow. Man, I watched them out here forever. Right there. They're strutting. He was strutting for, I mean, since I saw him, I mean, an hour with like six hens. And I was set up back there a little while and it just seemed like they were just hanging out there. But from previous scouting and hunting trips, I just know they want to come down into this corner. So I was thinking eventually they're going to work their way down here. So with this, how this property lays is all this timber is a creek. So I just worked low on it and then I popped up by this little cedar. And when I popped up, man, there were hens at point blank. I mean, there were hens at like 30 yards, 25, 30 yards. So I set this camera up as good as possible. I'm not sure at the kill shot. I think you can see them through some of this stuff. I think I'll be able to zoom in and have you see them. Um, I didn't want to expose the camera any more than that to really get a good shot of him because I think, I mean, there are a ton of turkeys out here. I think I would have got busted. So I just did that, took the shot, rolled him like he was, like I thought he was done, done out there. And then he got up, still kind of wobbling, and took off flying. Just kept flying, and then boom, just <laughs> lights out. Like literally just tanked. Went from like flying like, oh my gosh, what the heck just happened, to he's just in the field dead as can be. So... Man, freaking sweet birds, check them out. Good hooks on them. What these hooks look like too. Really good rope. Just a beautiful bird. I freaking love watching these things. He was just out there strutting, having a heyday. That's a wet turkey. Oh, man. I did not have very long to hunt. I took my daughter to grandma's house so she could get watched this morning. And was just like, man, I feel like the turkeys are gonna be out. And so I drove, I'm like 30 minutes from town right now. And uh, man, I just, I could picture birds out here today just cause I feel like after rain, they're just out in these fields and these muddy fields, just eating away and stuff. And they were, yeah, that's exactly what they were doing. I literally is like, I predicted the dang future when I, First time I rounded this bend to check out this corner, he's just out there strutting. I'm like, you kidding me? Just, uh, man, love it. Freaking love it. This is not necessarily the easiest turkey I've killed because, I mean, like I said, I had to walk through a ton of mud to get back here. Um, definitely not a good driving day, but uh, man, it paid off. It's I've got hearing protection, so my left ear is screwed. But... Sweet hooks on them. Wet turkey. Super wet turkey. What is that? That's bird, bird number three for me this year. One Kansas, two Nebraska. Heck yeah.
usually I'm not a strap the turkey on the backpack type of guy. More of a throw it over the shoulder type of guy. But we've got like a mile and a half walk out of here. So I might as well use the backpack that I got. I take some pics for the gram. Let's see if this works. All right, big guy. Brought the chair thinking I might be sitting in this corner for an hour waiting for him to come back out. That was not the case. Let's get out of here. So yeah, this hunt was definitely like a It was, it was just kind of like a, you gotta know how to read the bird and what he's wanting to do. He just seemed very comfortable with those hens. My calls, it didn't seem like he was gonna make a giant move, just like leave his hens and start coming in. So that's why I kind of made that decision to realize I needed to get closer to him and kind of try to cut him off. And obviously, I mean, Today it worked. Another day he might have gone on to the private and stuff, but you just gotta roll the dice and like seeing, seeing days past where they wanted to go to that corner, I'm like, hey, it's on public, I roll the dice. That's probably the best bet you can do. And sure enough, it paid off big time. Popped up into that spot and they were at 30 yards. Let's see how wet this is here. Dang it, I'm thirsty. Beauty, awesome bird. Really nice beard on him. Just awesome colors. Classic Nebraska looking bird. Um, thought I'd give one final recap of how it went down and I think why it was successful. And uh, man, this piece, I first came to this piece this last fall when I was uh, looking for some deer. And it didn't really strike me as a great deer hunting piece, but it, it struck me as a good turkey hunting piece, um, especially on a day like today. And um, so then I came back, I shed hunted a little bit around this area, not really this piece. Um, and then probably two weeks ago, I came down here looking for turkeys. and. Sure enough, I found some. I had a, I had a tom really close, like 10 yards, but I forgot to load one up in the gun, um, so he got away. Uh, and then uh, today, <clears throat> I was looking at the forecast yesterday, 
and we have just been covered in rain. We got like two inches of rain, something absurd. And so I knew one, the turkeys were gonna be a little fired up today, finally being clear. Um, it's overcast, but it's just, it's, it's warmed up, it's dry. Um, and they're probably just wanting to talk after being rained on the entire day yesterday. So that was the first thing. Second thing, I was like, these minimum maintenance roads are gonna be trashed, so nobody else is gonna be out here. Um, and I don't know, whenever the, I just feel like after a big rain, turkeys just get out in the fields and they just want to be picking at the dirt, the grass, and just drying off. So I was like, I got to go back to this piece because I bet they're down in this corner where I've seen birds in the past. And literally, it couldn't have been drawn up any better. I sneaked through some timber to finally get eyes on the corner of the field. And I saw this guy out there, freaking full strut with like six hens. And I was like, bingo. This is exactly what I want. So stayed in that area for a little bit, calling. Um, and he was actually kind of interested in the calls. He would, wouldn't gobble, but he uh, was strutting, and like looking this way. And then there was a moment where the hens started to work this way, and then they kind of worked back. And I mean, they're in that corner for like an hour and a half. And so I was like, man, I just got to get closer to that corner because I know they want to be in the corner of that field and they were kind of more out in the middle and I was like I know they're either going to work onto the private or they're going to work to that corner and then come down you know, in my direction so I was like let's just get down to that corner because I think that's where they want to be so sure enough I dip back down into the creek work probably another 200 yards towards them pop up as I get there I'm like okay I get to the spot where they were or I get to a spot where I could see where they were they weren't there. So I kind of started doing one of these things and then boom, like hens at like 30, 40 yards. And I knew he was with them. So I uh, set up the camera. Not, I, I think you could see the shot in the footage. I need to look a little closer, but I think you can see him. Um, I didn't want to get the camera out there a little further because there was a hen. You could see the hen right in the opening. And I just didn't want to, I did not want to screw up um, this hunt. I already had, the last time I was out here, that gobbler super close. I, screwed that up with not having a shell and stuff and wouldn't have been able to get him on footage so i'm like okay i think i have him on footage i'm not going to really worry about that i just want to fill a tag so um sure enough he just was strutting behind him worked in i think i shot him at like 45 50 yards <clears throat> fell over flopping i stand up and he starts like running and pitches he starts flying and i'm thinking that bird, is he literally alive? Like, he, I just rolled this sucker. I mean, it was a, I mean, anything past 40, like, is a longer shot, I feel like, in my, in my opinion. Um, and then sure enough, like, three seconds after flying, he just tanks, like, from the sky. It's like freaking God killed him. He just stopped flying, just fell down to the ground and was flopping there. So I ran out there and got him. And that's all she wrote. First Nebraska public land bird. This year for turkeys has treated me well. It's my third bird. One in Northeast Nebraska on some private, one on the Kansas 80, and then this guy. Beauty. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a quick one, but uh, productive. So subscribe to the channel. I think we're going to definitely have some uh, more good hunts coming your way. Got a lot more Nebraska hunting, possibly uh, head uh, a little north into South Dakota to chase some birds, but keep posted.